What's up everybody, this is Steven Tequila bringing another reaction video. And today's reaction is the new Animation Rewind fight. And it's between Shrek and Donkey, but I think it's a meme version uh, of them. Probably, definitely. Uh, fighting Sam's and... Uh, or Sans. I, I know I'm saying his name probably wrong. Um, <laughs> uh, and he is his partner, which I forget his name, uh, Papyrus, I think. Papyrus? I don't know. I'm bad with names. <laughs> so please excuse me for fucking up. <laughs> um, I don't know how the outcome of this fight will be, but it's definitely an interesting battle. I don't know what Donkey can bring into the fight, uh, especially since, unless he's bringing the, the video game character versions of Shrek and Donkey, because I've never played any of the games, but I know there's Shrek games versus these characters that are basically video game characters. So, I guess, uh, let's just get into the fight. Let me put him on your bud. Boom. And uh, we will enjoy this fight right now oh fuck i misclicked all right rephrase that <laughs> we will enjoy this fight right now there we go yeah sinking well while the intro is going off Congratulations again, Animation Rewind, hitting 100k. Just wanted to say that. Welcome to the 38th episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm your host, Animation Rewind, and if you're new to this series, then be sure to check out some of my earlier videos. But if you know how the game is played, then let's get ready for the fight. For this episode of Cartoon Fight Club, we have a glorious two-on-two -two between Onions and Spaghetti. That's right, Shrek and Donkey versus Sans and Papyrus. Now to get one thing out of the way, this is not Ultra Sans or Fandom Sans and Papyrus, nor is this MLG Shrek and Donkey. This is uh, okay. Korean video game Shrek and Donkey versus Undertale game Sans and Papyrus. Only canon resources will be used in this episode. Also, All each right. team will have a month's worth of prep, giving Shrek and Donkey the opportunity to use some magical potions, and giving Sans and Papyrus the opportunity to discover Shrek's swamp. With that being said, let's introduce Cartoon Fight Club's 38th round of fighters. Shrek has been on Cartoon Fight Club before. Yeah. The last time he it's was on here, he fought Sully. If you want to learn Shrek's Wait. basic move set, you can Shrek's 108 years old. This episode will have prep time. That's so I was interesting. I did not know that. How Shrek and Donkey work together and how they will use their access. To oh, that's ogre years. Okay. He's actually 38. Have okay. Been fast friends for many years. Although when they first met, things were a little rough, but over time, Shrek and Donkey built an unbreakable bond. Since they were both okay, outcasts from society, hey now, you're a rock they had star. a lot in common. <laughs> Shrek was feared by everyone, and Donkey was rejected by everyone. In short, ogres are like onions, and donkeys are like hairy onions. This duo makes a great team. <laughs> Together, they took on dozens of Lord Farquaad's top trained knights all at once. Donkey is so strong, he can knock out a full armored knight with one kick. DreamWorks states that an ogre can lift 20 times their own weight. This means that Shrek can lift up to 12,000 pounds. Shrek can also easily punch through stone and thick plywood. Shrek and Donkey are so skilled, they Shrek can is very powerful. the fairy godmother's full security staff. Speaking of the fairy godmother, Shrek and Donkey will have full access to her potion set. From the Shrek 2 video game and movie, we come across a number of potions. In the game, there are three main types of potions. Attack boost potions, which give the players twice the power and strength. Durability boost potions, which give the player twice the amount of health. And athletic potions, which make the player twice as fast and allows them to jump twice as high. In the Shrek movie, Shrek comes across the Happily Ever After potion. 
This potion is meant to magically allow someone to experience true love. If two people drink this potion, they will magically fall in the deepest of love. The love will stay permanent if they kiss each other by midnight. In terms of weaknesses, Shrek is weak to sharp objects such as arrows because his body is quite soft. Donkey can easily be scared, and if he gets too afraid, he becomes more of a setback than a sidekick. Overall, Shrek is <laughs> a great team, and they have a wide arsenal of potions with them. They are an uncommon duo, but they are a you mind. duo nonetheless. Do you mind not put on, coughing and Sands making papyrus. those weird noises back Sands there? Has returned once again to Sorry about that, guys. That's my dog. If you, if it's picked, if it's picked up, with Bill if you it's like to learn Sands hacking up something over there. Abilities. I don't know what. You can go watch the Sands just coughing Bill on. Episode. Coughing. This episode, <laughs> I'm going to focus on how Sands and Papyrus work together and their more important attributes. Being brothers, Sans and Papyrus have always been close. Papyrus is a loud, flamboyant younger brother who presents a confident, charismatic image of himself. He tends to work hard, and despite his brash personality, he is a very kind skeleton at heart. Sans is the pun-loving older brother. He is very laid back and enjoys taking breaks often. When it comes to teamwork, Sans and Papyrus make a solid team. They do mm. a formidable job setting up puzzles together, and they know each other very well. Sans refers to Papyrus as a cool dude. Papyrus often cleans up after Sans and states that Sans is lucky to have such a cool guy taking care of him. He was also the one to convince Sans to get a job at Century. Sans cares deeply for Papyrus, a fact made especially evident should the protagonist decide to kill Papyrus. Papyrus really wants to catch a human so he can become a member of the Royal Guard. And Sans really just wants to sleep and relax. Papyrus may try harder to be better at what he does, but Sans is easily more powerful and skilled. Sans can teleport within an instant, and he can use telekinesis to deal some great damage on his enemies. Papyrus is not as aggressive as Sans, but he is more durable. Sans will be greatly damaged after one hit, but he does have the determination to survive beyond that. Papyrus can take a much larger beating, but he is easier to land attacks on. Sans and Papyrus are known for throwing a wide range of bones at their enemies, and Sans specializes in sending gaster blasters to blast his enemies. In terms of weaknesses, this seems like a very interesting fight between characters. But I have a feeling that I, I, I'm going towards Sans and Papyrus, kind of. These two skeletons make a solid duo and have a similar arsenal and move set. They have a strong brotherly bond and have been through many adventures together. Now let's get ready for the. Fight. I have a feeling the this the brothers are going to win. Take place in Shrek Swamp. And there is one month's worth of prep time. Let the battle begin. Shrek's head was extremely big. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> really? They brought in fucking, uh... Bill Cypher and Discord randomly. <laughs> Okay, I'm okay. Oh, you can't do this to me, Trek. I'm too young for you to die. Get your legs out of me to turn the head cold. <laughs> oh, Trek needs the agility potion right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on now. Where did that come from? Those were words. I didn't get to see what they said. Wait, how did he do that? Ooh. Papyrus is in trouble. What the fuck was that thing? 
Chica? Does anyone know to handle it? What's with all the random cameo fighters? Well, you see, I, the great Papyrus, am straight as spaghetti. Well, ain't you as cute as a button? <laughs> you right on up. Why is what what what's going on? Why is Chica there and why is Shrek twerking? I love thee with undying passion. Oh, he gave him the true love potion. Okay, so that's what it was. Let's go, dirty brother killer. I recognize some of those sound effects. Oh, Sand's gonna take out Donkey. Damn, he got smushed. Oh, donkey, donkey, wake up! Oh, that's probably the strength. That... He's going super ogre, super saiyan ogre. <laughs> Oh, using Donkey's guts to deflect him. Uh, is is uh, oh no, Shrek's not. I don't know if Shrek's gonna be powerful enough to beat. Yeah, I called it. Discord, Bill Cipher, what are you doing there? It looks like it's all over now, and let me explain why it's all over. To sum up what I'm about <laughs> to say. Shrek and Donkey are nothing more but dirty brother killers. Now let me explain what that means. The biggest mistake Shrek and Donkey made was killing Papyrus first. The last thing anyone wants to do is face Sans when he's angry. In fact, throughout the fight, it was uh... really hard for Shrek and Donkey to even land an attack on Sans. He's that hard to catch. Unless you have reality warping powers like Bill Cipher, it's going to be really hard to just physically land attacks on Sans. However, if that happily ever after love potion managed to hit Sans instead of Papyrus, this battle could have been completely different. If Sans would have fallen in love like that, he would have been such an easy target to finish. But then again, he's that hard to catch. You can't just go up to Sans and land hits on him. You really have to be quick. When it came to natural brute strength, Shrek and Donkey did have the edge. But when it came to speed and overall mystic power, that was something. Yeah, that the power. Magical ability of Sam's was a little bit more the OP than Shrek, Shrek, I think, could in this handle. Episode is we used one of the weakest versions of Shrek that exists, which is the movie and video game Shrek. Now, if you want to see a rematch with MLG Shrek and Donkey versus Ultra Sans and Fandom Papyrus, you know what to do. Comment down below the word rematch, and if this episode gets 2,000 rematch comments, there will be a rematch. Also, don't forget to comment down your ideas for future Cartoon Fight Club episodes. They may even become a future episode of Cartoon Fight Club. And if you can't get enough of me, you can always follow me on social media, and I also just opened a Patreon account so you can visit me there too. But more importantly, stay tuned because the next fighters are going to be revealed. All right. The next episode of Cartoon Fight Club. Superman? Is it going to be Superman versus One Punch Man? Fuck yeah! Oh yeah. And you guys know it, Jacob's gonna be part of that reaction video. I'll let him know that that's gonna be the next fight. Oh nice, the One Punch Man theme here. I recently found a One Punch Man a remake that I really like. It's a really good heavy metal uh, version because I'm into a lot of heavy heavy, me uh, heavy metal songs and regular rock music. But uh, 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 hero. <laughs> I'm a big fan of One Punch Man. Heroes. 
And I have not mem memorized the song, but I know most of the li somewhat most of the lyrics. So if I fuck up a little bit while humming it and or jamming to the song. <laughs> it's a really cool version, I kinda like this. I need to see where- I need to find this version and see if I can uh, use it myself in the future for like background music. Cause I already used the One Punch Man theme instrumental version. Oh man. You know, while we're waiting, uh, here's special thanks. Man, I'm 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 really am happy to see that you put my name there sometimes. It really is awesome. All right, well that's the end of the video. Man, I you know I want to see his live reaction here. Turn up my phone volume so you guys can hear the text message relay back when I uh one second. This is professionalism here, guys. Now let's see. <laughs> let's see his reply. Well, while we're waiting on his reply, if he replies by the time I finish this, damn good fight, very good, very funny, very, uh, as in, it was very funny seeing random characters show up in the midst of the fight and everything. Um, still enjoy the, uh, as I drop quartz, still enjoy the animation that you do, and even though you said in your hundred of 100,000 that people still say you're a bad animator, you're not. Oh! And he says, okay. <laughs> that's all he says. Literally, that's all he's. I don't know if you guys can read that. No, it's all white. <laughs> he just says, okay. <laughs> well, I will let him know when that fight comes out. So, just heads up, guys. I do get alerts on my phone when uh, certain channels, aka Animation Rewind and a couple other uh, YouTube channels, release videos so I, I usually get notification quite like as soon as they're uploaded so I know when they go up I just need to make sure Jacob is free and or can come over so that one I'm gonna try to get to as soon as possible when it's released and uh, I, I'm hoping Jacob will be free at that time but n things happen so if it takes a day or so extra I'm trying to do it for you guys, just to let you know. <laughs> um, but that's about it, really. Um, if you guys want to check out some of my gameplay, if you guys really haven't, I have some gameplay on my channel now, Dying Light and uh, GTA 5, and sometime soon some Black Ops 3 stuff. So look out for that, too. So I'm not going to like link anything in this video. If you guys want to check it out, I think there will be uh, links in the descriptions for playlists of those games. Um, hopefully I'll remember. If not, sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm trying to get this to you guys on Valentine's Day because that would be hopefully today when you're watching this on Valentine's Day, Sunday. So, also, hopefully you guys have seen the Deadpool movie because I've already seen it twice. I've seen the movie twice. It's so good. It's so fucking good. If you guys haven't seen it, you guys gotta go see it. Um, and like I said, if you guys want my own personal uh, review video and or... Uh, and it will not be spoiler free. So if you guys click on it, be warned. There will be spoilers on that video. But you guys gotta let me know if you want me to do a, re uh, like a review of that movie. Because I could talk about it for a good 10 plus minutes. And tell you guys all my... Uh, all the points I liked and stuff and who knows I might see it maybe one more time <laughs> in theaters <laughs> I like that movie a lot already. I already want to buy it on blu-ray <laughs> uh, Also, they're already starting uh, a script for Deadpool 2, but I keep yamming yammering 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 so If you like this video punch that like button Leave a comment down below of a video that you guys want me to react to in the future and like I said some videos are on their way I've just been really busy with certain things, um, so don't worry. Uh, this week coming up, I'm going to let, let you guys know, Mario Ball Z, um, Nun Peace, uh, more, of Ruby rea uh, more of those reactions, oh, except for uh, Mario Ball Z is kind of new because it's episode one, but uh, I will be coming back towards more of those, uh, Ruby and Nun Peace, and uh, 
whatever else uh, pops up during the week because around probably in the next couple of days I will not be surprised if there's another uh, psycho video by uh, McJuggernuggets so it's around that time when he gets another psycho video put up soon so be ready for that too if that pops up also I'm gonna try to do it because there was a new Batman v Superman final trailer I haven't watched it yet but I'm gonna probably try to get that up uh, either Sunday night late or Monday morning early maybe two uploads on Monday one gaming and one uh, reaction aka that one but I digress anymore please subscribe till next video guys later thanks for watching this video everyone hope you enjoyed it and if you want more check out the description below hope to see you guys in a later video also have an awesome day